Welcome to this tutorial on assessing the performance of PPG or photoplethysmogram heat detectors on multiple data sets. In this tutorial I'll be using the PPG Beats toolbox of algorithms and I'll be referring to the instructions at this website below. So let's go there now. ppgbeats.readthedocs.io and we'll be using the second tutorial in the performance assessment category. Assessing performance on multiple data sets. We'll follow these steps and then have a look at the results. I'll assume that you've already installed the toolbox of algorithms. If not, there are instructions here. The second step is to download the four data sets that we'll be using in this analysis. I've downloaded those already, and they are these ones here. The third step is to use this assess multiple dataset script, which is within the toolbox, to analyse the performance of beat detectors across these datasets. And we've got to do three things to set up the script before we can run it. So firstly, we've got to specify the path of each of these datasets and we're looking for this function within the longest script. Okay, so here it is. And the four data sets that we're interested in are these ones here. So you'll see beneath each one is a path. And for instance, for this AF for atrial fibrillation data, I'll copy the path that's the truncated AF data set. And then I'll paste the path in here. I've done that already for the others, so they're all ready to go. So just make sure the paths are correct. The second step is to specify the data sets that we want to analyze. And that's done within this setup universal params function. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so this part here specifies the data sets to be analysed. And there's this flag which allows us to specify these data sets here, which are the four that we have downloaded. So as that's set to one, um, that will analyse those data sets. And then the third step is to tell the script where to save the results figures in this folder here, which again is still in the same setup universal params function. So that's this line here. And I've told it to save the results in this PPG beat stuff folder, and you will want to replace that with your own folder. So we're now ready to run the script to assess the performance of PPG beat detectors across all of the data sets. So it's now going through this analysis on each data set in turn. It started with this non-AF data set, and I'll explain what these mean in a moment. It's currently detecting beats in the PPG signals in this data set and it's using two beat detectors, the MSPTD and QPPG fast heat detector. Now these were specified in the specify options function, and there are many, many more beat detectors that we could use. So for instance, if you wanted to assess the performance of lots and lots of beat detectors, then you would comment out that line and you'd have all these beat detectors here. But just for speed, we've used at these two. It's now identified beats in ECG signals and those are used as a reference against which to compare the beat detections in the PPG signals. And then it's aligning the times of the PPG and ECG beats ready for analysis. And finally on this data set it's assessing the performance of the different beat detectors. So now it's moved on to the second data set. So to explain what these mean. Um, so the first one was non-AF, non-atrial fibrillation, and that's patients 
um, in normal sinus rhythm. The second data set is patients in atrial fibrillation. So these two allow us to compare performance between atrial fibrillation and without atrial fibrillation. The other two data sets that it will move on to in a moment are the training and testing data sets. And these are the main data sets used to train and test algorithms uh, within the mimic perform data sets. So we'll rejoin um, once it's finished doing the analysis on these data sets. Okay, so now it's finished. Uh, so just to show you the working, so for instance, this is where it saved the analysis of uh, subject one for this particular AF dataset, all the subjects and then some summary performance assessment and statistics. And the results we told it to save in this folder here. Perhaps uh, a starting point is this F1 for F1 score box plot. So here you can see the performance of these two beat detectors, MSPTD and QPPG, on the left hand side on the training data set and on the right hand side on the testing data set. So these performed well on both data sets. This shows the median value given by the black circle and the interquartile range given by the box on these box plots. We've also told it to compare performance between AF and non-AF patients. So here again, we have the two beat detectors, MSPTD and QPPG, and we have the results for non-AF patients in red and for AF in blue. And you can see that for both beat detectors, there was significantly worse performance in AF. There are a few other plots that you can have a look at. So hopefully you are now in a position to assess the performance of PPG beat detectors on multiple data sets. And if you want to see our assessment, then you can go to this website and come down to uh, our publication reporting the results of several open source algorithms. Thanks very much.